Okay, welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. This is a comparison video for MQA Stream via Tidal as part of our Pierce Audio Direct Stream DAC with the Network Bridge 2 installed in it review. Now, one of the big USPs for the PS Audio Direct Stream DAC is that you can stream full MQA Tidal quality, full MQA quality via Tidal directly into the Direct Stream DAC. Now, you literally plug a network cable in it via your router and you use the M Control app uh, to control the, the library, which actually works really well. And if you see the other video that I've posted, it, it, it'll explain full instructions of how to do that. Now, is MQA worth it? You know, it's only a USP if MQA is, is a benefit for streaming quality. So I'm gonna try and demonstrate that to you now. Now, bear in mind that the recording setup is different to what I normally use. I'm literally using a Rode, Stereo Video Mic Pro sat on top of my Sony 4K camcorder, which I use to shoot all the videos now. Uh, if you want details of this full setup, please check down in the description. It will all be there for you. So this is not the studio quality recording equipment I usually use, but if we can hear a difference using this equipment, then imagine what the difference is like in real life. And I've also used this equipment purely because I'm having to use a different listening position in the room with the PS Audio Direct Stream DAC as the source, there is no direct live being used here. So I've had to find a better listening position in the room purely for this test uh, to make it a fair test for both MQA and not MQA. So I'm going to try and show my phone, which is the control app at the moment, as you can see here. Now, trying to keep it focused all the time is a little bit difficult. So I apologize if the phone gets blurred in between bits and pieces of what I'm trying to show you. But if we look here, we've got our two albums. On the left, we have the little M, which indicates the um, MQA Masters version of the album. And on the right, it's just the standard flak. Now the MQA Masters version is a 24 bit 96 kilohertz. So it's not a full 192. Uh, but this is a good album because it's easy to see, see the difference between, you know, MQA and bog standard flak that we would stream. So let's start, excuse me, start with the standard flak version of the album. And I'm using track three because it's it starts off with some, you know, detail that's very easy to hear the differences, obviously, if they exist. So here we go then. So this is going to be the standard 1644 and I'll let it play for I don't know 20 or 30 seconds swap back and then swap back again and then maybe a pick a different track but this is not pre-rehearsed and pre-recorded so please bear with me this is real uh, and I want you to, to hopefully get the same experience that I am so here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
apologies i've got a message come through there that i wasn't expecting that goes to show just how real uh this test is i mean monitoring on the the differences on the headphones was very clear the mqa versions fuller richer clearer and cleaner um and more realistic all at the same time uh, having spent oh, sorry having spent quite a lot of time with meridian products uh and their previous algorithms and what they do with upscaling cd quality etc that's exactly what uh, that did to the music as well so hopefully in this video that's come out clear enough for you to be able to get a taste of the difference of what mqa is going to do to streaming so please leave any comments down below you know what maybe you heard or didn't hear um and i appreciate this test is a little bit rough and rugged but i'm just trying to make it as realistic as i possibly can rather than um i could set something up very contrived but this is off the cuff very real uh hopefully a true test of you know what we can expect if we've got a really high quality dac like the direct stream with the network 2 bridge built in it, i think if you are big on streaming if you're going to use tidal and, and are interested in high quality streaming then this is a fantastic product for that because it's all rolled up in one you get really fantastic sound quality at the moment it's the only product i know on the market that does all that so I must say with the new firmware installed and the network bridge update it's working absolutely flawlessly so congratulations to ps audio you've uh, produced a great product okay we're going to do a second part to this test now i apologize if you're not a michael buble fan but i'm just trying to find albums that are you know normal flak and mqa and ones i feel emphasize the difference a little bit so we're going to start with the normal flak again and i'll just quickly do 10 20 seconds maybe 30 seconds and then change over to mqa <laughs> Have I told you lately that I love you? Can I tell you once again somehow? Have I told with all my heart and soul how I adore you? Have I told you lately that I love you? Can I tell you once again somehow? Have I told with all my heart? Have I told you lately that I love you? Can I tell you once again somehow? Have I told with all my heart and soul how I adore you? Well, darling, I'm telling you now. Have I told you lately that I love you? Can I tell you once again somehow? Sorry, I'll quickly do it again. Right, we'll start with the MQA. I'm trying to make this work perfectly, it's not easy. Have I told you lately that I love you? Can I tell you once again somehow? 
Have I told with all my heart and soul how Have I told you lately that I love you? Can I tell you once again somehow? Have I told with all my heart and soul how I adore you? Well, darling, I'm telling you. Have I told you lately that I love you? Can I tell you once again somehow? Have I told with all my heart and soul how I adore you? Well, darling, I'm telling you now. Have I told you lately when I'm sleeping? Well, hopefully you can hear the difference on the video. For me, monitoring this recording, the standard flak, which seems to have a little bit of MQA unfolding according to this app, but I'm not sure how accurate that is. That was kind of congested, thicker, not didn't have the clarity. As soon as you went over to the MQA version, it sounded leaner, which takes a minute to get used to but the clarity there's so much more clarity to the mqa version and a more improved sound stage a more kind of see through onto the sound as opposed to the congestion now i think we always audio files that have got a little bit of an adjustment period to go through uh, we're not used to mqa files are we we're used to standard files and We've probably had our whole lives of listening to music presented ever so slightly wrong, ever so slightly congested, without the clarity and the resolution that we should have been getting. So we have to factor that in, I think, when we're doing these comparisons. You know, it sounds warmer and fuller, non-MQA or non-full MQA, but the clarity is not there with, uh, as opposed to when we listen to it on the MQA. And, and that test hopefully pr shows that. So... You know, everyone's got their own preferences with how they like their sound, but you know, the clarity's got to be there, isn't it? That's got to be number one or very high up there. And if if MQA gives us clarity and the normal flat file doesn't give us clarity, uh, if the MQA file is a little bit leaner in its presentation, and surely that's correct. Surely, you know, if the the warmer sounds not giving us the clarity, it's not giving us the clarity because it's warmer because there's you know, in inverted commas, fat being added to that sound, which makes it warm and possibly makes it, you know, appealing to our ears because we've had a whole life of listening to music that way. So potentially there's an adjustment period to go through as an audio file to, to adapt to MQA or just adapt to a, a cleaner presentation of sound in general. So that's not me trying to sell it to you, that, you know, each individual likes things, you know, music presented their own way. It's just my, you know, looking at it, as it stands now, having listened, you know, via the monitoring setup uh, to these recordings. So again, please leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, hopefully, this has given you a taste of a the PS Audio Direct Stream DAC. It's been working fantastic. A couple of glitches on the app. That's not the DAC's fault. The DAC's working perfectly, um, and it's streaming MQA, non MQA. We're getting quick transitions between songs. There's no lag. The M Control app works with a tiny bit of lag, but that's probably my network uh, causing that. Um, and yeah, it's a very slick, easy to use system. So yeah, fair play, PS Audio. You've done a really good job uh, in, of integrating MQA, which we've got to factor in. It's like very new technology. There's no one really doing it yet. So yeah, we've got to take our hats off to PS Audio for coming up trumps and being one of the early pioneers of putting MQA streaming uh, like a full MQA stream into a uh, very simple to use 
DAC all in ball built in with a really high quality, fantastic sanding DAC. So this might come out before or after the full review for the DAC. I'm, I've, I've only got the product for a week, and I'm trying to get through everything I can to demonstrate, you know, the the big selling points of this DAC uh, and the fact that you can stream MQAA. You literally just select the bridge input, you pull up the app on your phone or your tablet or whatever, and within a couple of seconds, off you go. And you'll be getting a full MQA stream. Uh, a huge library like we've got on Tidal, which is growing all the time. There's more MQA files being added to that all the time. They're not all massively high quality. That means that MQA, uh, the bubbly, was 96. Some of them are 192. Some of them are 44. But... It, I don't think that really matters if we like the music. It's given us an improved sound quality or an improved sound experience from streaming, which we've got to factor that in. You know, we're streaming that and we're getting anything that can bring us a higher sound quality, we have got should get behind and really endorse. So leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've got lots of great content coming. I'm going to try and do as many of these comparison type videos over time as I can. Um, yeah, please leave me any suggestions, anything you'd like me to do, any comparisons you'd like to see. So yeah, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.